All right, what's up, everybody? It's your girl, Ashes Rebirth. So we're going to get into... Ooh, I'm sorry. I hope y'all can still see. Let me make sure y'all can see. Okay, good. I think that's as good as it's going to get right this second. Okay, y'all? <laughs> All right, so um, here's what we'll do. We're going to do Woman Crush Wednesday, Okay. I'm a, I just, ooh, jumpy, jumpy, calm down, girls. Ooh, divine masculine, are you in the room or something? <laughs> Y'all are silly today. Oh, the energy's silly today. Y'all are really lighthearted. This is, there's a lot of damning things going on in the world, and it would like to play out as if everything in existence is damning. Um, you know, everything becomes so huge. And if it isn't huge, we're going to talk about it so much to make it huge. And it becomes huge. And then we're surprised when it gets huge. And then it grows more fear and then keeps going. Yeah. That eagerness. Spirit is talking, right? Last time Divine Masculine and Feminine and, we, and us came together collective. You know, Skip Marley kept coming in the building talking about slow down. Come on, bruh. What are we doing, right? What do we do when we slow down? We're able to actually feel. Ooh, who would have thought? <laughs> Isn't the idea of it all to feel? Honey, because if I'm getting it, I want it. And I want it to be good. And I want to feel it. Don't you want to feel your moments? What good are moments of bliss if we don't feel them, right? What good would it be to go to an amusement park and not feel the rush of conquering a fear or feeling that, you know, the... You know, I'm dizzy, but it's still like, you know, like a thrill. Like, you know, if, if it wasn't a thrill to it all. Oh, I feel like just a whirlwind just hit me like in my throat chakra. Like spirit is just like, you know, it's, it's a lot going fast, you know, uh, the slowdown is our time to, we, we know what the slowdown time is for, right? It's, it's a reflective time, right? Ladies, spirit is, spirit is out here, spirit is out here, okay? Um, that's it. These cards have been sitting, let me tell y'all ladies this. If you're new to this, hello, I'm Ashes. I'm here because uh, our, you know, our paths have crossed because there's some form of rediscovering who you are, your divine authentic self. At least that's the, the divine mantle that be upon my life right now, assisting particularly the divine feminine in rediscovering who she is and her divine self before everything else in the world kind of tried to claim, right, and blame, uh, you know, whatever on you. Okay. Oh, we have three ladies came out and a peacock. Honey, let me tell you, okay, because the divine feminine, all right, before spirit was all like, you know, chastising us about a couple things, which is good because, you know, okay, it's good to learn a thing, to know a thing, uh, to be wise, to be corrected when necessary. You understand? Like a person who rejects I don't know exactly. There's a scripture that talks about that. And it's something along the lines of a person who rejects correction. You know what I mean? Um, because someone who's who someone who would reject correction. And I don't mean somebody coming at you all types of ways. They're not disrespectful. I'm talking about just correction. Someone I love you. And I just I know what you're headed to. And so I'm just, you know, it, to reject it means that obviously there's a, there's a level of like, you know, wrapped around some fool energy right if if i know that someone knows and they're giving me the direction to steer clear from what they've already experienced and i still go in the same way you know in my free will i'm making that choice there's element of foolish energy there does it make me a fool but at what presents me at the level i'm at at that time that goes for us all the collective right you can do foolish things it doesn't make you a fool it means i'm somewhere along the learning process and i've made a fucked up situation you know a choice <laughs> You know what I mean? But it doesn't it doesn't darken your whole essence and who you are. Let's see who's come out. We've got Fate here uh, with uh, Eileen Chang. We've got Community with Leslie Silko here. And then we've got uh, Love with Sappho. And Sappho has come out with us before. And we've had Fate as well with Eileen. And then we've got the Peacock. Y'all already know when it comes to the Peacock, I got to calm myself down because I get real hype and heavy. Because Oshun energy comes in and it be real heavy. But the way the cards flew out, I should have knew that those were the feathers. Like, hello, here I am, okay? <laughs> 
having y'all having another woman uh woman crush wednesday reading without me oh how dare you know this is me okay oshun in the building right that peacock energy right that that that's something that that her energy kind of brings in the essence of uh, the divine feminine this sappho energy today is given off a whole lot of yeah i'm paired down here with the oshun because it's it's giving that i am lady it, it it's real venus energy it's it's real hear me roar energy it's real you know reactive soon as i picked up the deck honey she was ready <laughs> Yes, we were. Yes, we are. Ooh, okay, this is good, good girls, okay? We got good energy here, okay? This is good, solid, foundational, loving of self. This is really tapping into the essence of who you are as divine feminine. This is a real, a real hear me roar type energy here. It's like my fire is lit. Ooh, divine feminine. Girl, you better get into it, sis. Get into it. Okay. Oh, Divine Feminine, I'm so proud of you ladies. This is foundational we're talking about here with these two. This is a pairing. This is a coming together of things that are seemingly opposite, bringing it together. This is solar, lunar. This is uh, masculine, feminine together, right? This is things really aligned. Spirit's had us aligning for a while, getting into the flow. Spirit said what it was going to be. I told y'all this altar setup wasn't no joke. It wasn't for no show. It wasn't for, for you to see. Backdrop, okay? Fate, community. What is this spirit? What is this, ladies? I lean you with the fate. You come to say what to us today? Hmm. I see these gloves here, but Eileen is telling me, like, no, I don't see them as gloves. Like, these are scissors, like, cutting away, like a tethering away. Like, sometimes it could be some things that you think are good for you, ladies, that you might need to just, like, drift right on a way. Yeah? I also see an element of taking what was meant to be your demise. Ooh. Mm-hmm. And creating something much more luxurious of the situation is exactly how I hear it. So that's how I'm saying it. Okay. Whatever that means to you. You're making it much more luxurious. Okay. Um, playing no games about it. And at the same time, it's like a leaving no mess behind either. <laughs> um, but it's faded is what it feels like. The moment you cut yourself away from it, because this is something like um, that you keep your own hands tied to, you know, maybe something you feel faded to, but it really ain't. Maybe someone you feel tied to, but you really shouldn't be tied to, or maybe they're not the one for you to be tied to, right? Like this is a fake card, like tear yourself away from whatever your beliefs are around the situation. And I don't mean beliefs like, you know, about your whole life. I mean about whatever situation comes to mind as spirit is speaking to you now, right? That pulling away, that situation, you know? Um, let, let everything about it go. Because any piece of healing, no matter where it is, you have to start with a surrender of releasing everything that you think you know about it. Because if you already know, then what you doing right so you got to be willing to release everything and allow the truth of every you know release everything that you think to be true and allow truth to really come in and show you what it is for real who it is it's like somebody trying to represent you and when you show up they still want to keep representing you like you can't represent yourself at some point in time if something gets misconstrued if something this if this or this or this don't you want to speak for yourself okay so that's what's going on here. So um, this community card, um, somehow I think these two sisters here tie. So I just want to see what Leslie Silco is saying for us today. Um, not getting webbed up, sticking into your intuition. It reminds me of the sunshine deck where the intuition and download card um, is in that deck. This is all things being illuminated from your real self, like intuitive downloads coming in. And they're from like your heart space, like your real true self and all that you really are. Like it gets you out of any webs that anybody would like to try to create for you and it really creates a band of web that that builds the the community that you want that you need it's 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 the community of of love right it's it's all things coming in that's thriving that's fruitful because that's what's faded for you 
right? Th these things were building here, right? I was fated for this. So what, what I thought was for my good, now that I've cut myself away from some of these things, I've tapped into loving myself and knowing who I am. Thank you, ladies. Now I've cut myself away from those things. Now I can move into something that's, okay? Something that's good for me, right? Something for my higher good, something that, that feeds me, helps me to walk further into my call, something that helps me to build more of a web, a connection to all things, yeah? So this is standing on a good, firm foundation, ladies. Congratulations. This means the divine feminine is really in a space of, of things being aligned and having a good grounded kind of space to stand in and on about yourself, okay? All right, so you can strut a whole new strut, like only who needs to be approaching you is going to approach at this juncture, right? Because you've learned to cut yourself off and now you've, you've tapped into your real power, your true essence here, this Oshun and this uh, with the peacock energy and Sappho with the love energy. Um, it's, it's you know, this is a, a faded moment for you. This is something that you've been growing into everything up until now, like you've grown, you, you know, into this space. It's going to be okay. You can let that go. You can let that rest. It's all right. You've done your due diligence with that thing, right? It's it's okay sometimes to call it quits, bruh, right? Right? It's okay to release and just breathe, sis, you know? All things are not meant to last forever. And some things, a lot of things that we are desiring to last forever were never the things to be a thing at all. You understand? All right. Spirit is coming in real heavy over here on my left side. And I'm just saying it's 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 a download coming in for a divine masculine. OK, it's all like hip hop. So I'm just saying like with how my spirit people talk to me and how I'm picking it up. I'm just saying like, you know, it's not like a old, old dude type presence. Right. Um, but it's not like a young and young and type dude either. Like you somewhere in between ish, All right. Um, I'm going to say like 30s. Um, you, you don't need, you don't need give me like really your early 40s vibe. Like you, let's just say within your 30s, like you, you smack right there, somewhere in between there. Um, if 40s, you definitely not past 45, okay? Um, either way, all right? It, it's like I can feel an essence of like your vibe is more like, you know, it's got like a, I got a real like, you know, you know, round away, like hip hop type vibe, like, you know, um, essence like you know like uh and i don't mean no new school type shit either i mean like you know what okay let's say this what you would know is real hip-hop okay so your interpretation of real hip-hop okay and i know for sure it's not nowadays hip-hop okay is what spirit is saying you understand okay um i'm not even sure now, this is just me, Ash, just why that message is relevant right now. Because that's for masculine energy. There's a masculine who watches or masculines who watch the Woman Crush Wednesday readings. You have to. And you must have gone, or, or maybe this is the first one you've ever watched. Or maybe you just happen upon it by surprise or something. I don't know, but... You're going to watch this one for sure. I don't know if you watch all the rest of them, but that message went out. Oi, oi, oi. Maybe it just needed to come out. Maybe you won't watch it. Maybe it's just the energy going out. That's kind of wild. It just said in my spirit right now, I just thought about it. I was like, girl, wait a minute. What? This is Woman Crush Ramsey, and that was a whole message for a dude? Because it's a whole dude here. I'm telling you, okay? Um, that spirit was just talking to there. All right, so... All right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. That's all I hear Spirit say. That's it. I don't even have any, almost anything else coming up. That's it, ladies, okay? And to whoever, you know, those few gentlemen or that gentleman or however that turns out. Um, that's the reading from Spirit today. Really nice, really good. Um, if anybody's looking for any um, spiritual wellness products, Go to the Etsy shop that's in the description box. You can just click the link. It'll take you directly to the shop. If you're looking for spiritual wellness services, um, such as Reiki, um, chakra balancing, readings, of course, um, different, the variety of readings that I do, 
um, any intuitive spiritual work for your wellness and growth um, as the Divine Feminine, uh, please contact me at the email that's listed in the description box as well. Of course, if you want to subscribe here, click the notification bell so you will know when I post and everything. I can only go live right now on Facebook because, of course, we don't have enough people over here in the community, which is good and fine by me. Um, I just want to make sure that people are tapping into themselves and really tackling the healing journey, you know, walking the path, uh, so, you know, surrendering to it, actually, really, not even fighting. I think we do too much fighting it away. Um, so surrendering and walking the path out. Um, so, of course, we've got this channel for free content, but Facebook as well. And I go live on Facebook as well and just um, shoot out some personal readings some nights as well. So we build a community that's conducive for love over there as well. It is not just come give me a reading, give me a reading. It's a check in with everybody, see how our weeks and months have been, however long it's been since we talked and like vibe a minute with each other. Make sure everybody's well. All right. And then like we'll fill out the vibe, do like a little collective read and then I'll branch out and then, you know, just speak for people that want to hear something, right? Uh, because we're a community. We're not just here for the give me something. Um, all right, so that's that. Um, all right, and all you seek and seek yourself. Remember to be led and guided by all things pure, true, and love, and all things great and grand to be beckoned unto you. It's been real, it's your girl, Ashes of Rebirth. Peace out.